everyone, it is D here, and welcome to another LEGO set review. Um, apologies for not getting this review video and a bunch of review, review videos that are going to follow it out sooner. Uh, I've had these sets, I have, I believe, eight sets that have been sitting in my filming box for a little over a month now. Maybe two months, just because I haven't known how I'm going to film them. Um, I figured it out. It's, they're still, I'm still working out the kinks. Uh, like, if I turn it too far, you can see, like, where that ends, or you can see where that ends and stuff, and it's zoomed in right now, and then I kind of want to angle it, so, like I said, I still got to work out some things, um, but for now, I'm going to try and get this out of the way, and there are bigger sets than this that I need to film. I don't know if I'll be able to, if they'll be able to fit in here at all, or if I'm going to have to wait. Sorry, I'm just scratching something off my uh, poster board. Um, but anyways, this is Lego set 76174, and I believe it's the, is it the Spider Truck versus Mysterio? I'm looking at the instruction booklet here. Um, yeah, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's, you know, the Spider-Man's Monster Truck, and then we have Mysterio, and then Doc Ock, and the Spider-Gwen. Um, the main reason I got this set was for, um, the minifigures. Uh, mainly Mysterio, so I could get those green Power Blast pieces and his new helmet, uh, Doc Ock, and then Spider-Gwen for her new hood. Um, I already have the spider man figure, but I figured why not just buy the entire set rather than order the certain pieces and make it even more expensive. Um, and I also get, you know, extra pieces for a relatively cheaper price. Um... But this set was $39.99, and I or no... My mom picked it up for me for $29.99, and I believe she got it, I think it was from Best Buy or something. She was out of town and messaged me and was like, is this the one you've been looking for? And I was like, yes, and so she bought it and I paid her back, but I don't remember it exactly. I think I just realized something. Wait a second. Oh my god, I messed up the stickers. Oh my god, look Look at the side of the truck. This web and this web, they're facing down on the... That one's facing down, that's facing up. I messed it up on both sides. On both sides. Are you... Sh are, are you... Oh my god. Let me... Let me go look at this. And make sure that I'm the one who made the mistake. Because I thought about not even filming this one just because of... Yep. I put them on wrong. Great. Okay. Well, I didn't even plan to keep this set put together anyways just because I wanted it for the certain pieces, so whatever. Um, I wasn't even thinking about reviewing it anyways, but... Might as well. Um, but yeah, so... We're going to take a look at the builds first. And then we can take a look at the minifigures. Okay. So, for starters, we have these two little drones here from Mysterio, which obviously are based off of Spider-Man Far From Home. And I actually really like this design for the drones because they're the proper color. They're the white. And then we have a sticker here and here on both of them. And then it's got stud shooters, which obviously we all know what those do. And then more little blasters here. And honestly, if you wanted more of these, it'd be pretty cool. And you could get like 10 of them and then you know, recreate some cool shot from Far From Home, because these are pretty cool drones that have a lot of useful pieces. But, um, they're one of the highlights of this set for me. And then, of course, Spider-Man's monster truck, which I, I don't know why he has a monster truck. A lot of unnecessary Spider-Man vehicles have been made in LEGO. Um, and this one doesn't even really look like a truck. It's not really a truck, but... Sticker here, sticker here, which literally says Spider-Man, and then sticker here, obviously, that is supposed to be flipped, but I can't do that now. Uh, there's a sticker with this red and black webbing on all four tires, and if you notice, the tires are able to move. So, like, if he was to run on, a, to drive on a uneven ground, then it would still keep this part of the truck uh, steady. A sticker on the front here for his license plate, and then same sticker on the back. Um, and then, again, stickers over here, but I messed, messed them up. Sticker up here that says Spider-Man, and if you take that off, I actually do have Spider-Man in there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take him out. Um, probably the best part about the set is if you lift this up. Okay, well, I kind of messed it up. They have this new net launcher where if you push this... Okay, that was very anticlimactic. There's this new net piece. It's, it's rounded, and if you fold it up and you put it in the net launcher and you hit it hard, there we go. It's supposed to shoot out, which this is a really cool net piece, and I like it a lot more than the square netted ones, but um, just $40 for is the retail price, Lego, for an unnecessary set. Seems a bit, you know, ridiculous. But uh, if you push this down, then it goes back in. Um, but no, I just, this set's just strange to me because Spider-Man's never had a monster truck as far as I know. And um, I, I, I'm sorry, I just can't get over the sticker mess up. And now I'm just angry and not trying to take it out on the internet. Um, another thing that I need to figure out with filming sets is... I aimed to completely eliminate camera shaking, but it appears that I haven't done that. So, um, let me try and fix that real quick before we look at the minifigures. So, starting off with the minifigures here, we have Spider-Man, of course, because he's the main guy. Um, this one does not come with the dual-molded legs, which is a bit disappointing. And now that we finally have a Spider-Man with arm printing uh, for like the classic outfits and stuff... I'm just waiting for one the time we get dual molded legs, which has the web pattern on the boots, and then that would be the perfect Spider-Man minifigure ever. And nothing would ever be able to beat it. Um But this is one of the this is the new common Spider-Man they're gonna use. Uh sort of how with like the Venom mech that came out summer uh winter of twenty nineteen, that started to introduce the new version of Spider-Man with like the blue around his eyes. And then that Spider-Man is also used in the Lego Spider-Man film short film Vexed by Venom. Uh, that one is no longer being used, and it is now this one. Uh, this one's also used in the Daily Bugle, but um, so yeah, not much really going on with him, just pretty generic. And next we have Spider-Gwen, uh, or Ghost Spider, but I call her Spider-Gwen just because it makes sense. Uh, she comes with this purple skateboard, sort of like how she did with the other Mysterio set with the bank. Uh, I don't remember her ever having that, but all right. Um... She comes with these new translucent clear web pieces, which actually I like a lot more than just the white ones. And I really hope we get some web ropes in this color one day. Um, but, and then it would be nice to have like these pieces in clear and everything. It's just the clear webs look more like webs for them, you know? And then it does come with, of course, clear web handcuffs and then two of the really big web pieces in clear translucent. Um, but there's nothing new about this minifigure other than the hood piece, which I finally have this in white, and I've tried using it on Moon Knight, but then I just, I didn't like how it looked, so I was like, oh, so I got this for no reason, but whatever. Um, hopefully eventually we get a hood piece that kind of curves down and has a point in the middle. Um, but this could be used for hoodies and stuff, which is really cool, but, uh, other than that, nothing too special. I hope that eventually we get leg printing for her. That has the, like, blue boots on them. Okay. And then here we have Mysterio. This is the main reason I bought the set. Um, and it's because he comes with green power blasts, which I finally have. And we all know those work. You push them down on the sides and they shoot out. It's the same exact Mysterio minifigure from the uh, uh, the Bank Heist set, except it has a gray head and then this newer dome piece that's, like, blue crystallish color, which makes sense. And then he has the one hole cape, which kind of goes off the back with a gap, and I don't like that. He does have back torso printing. And then he's got this weird green base that you put him in, and it's like green smoke. And it's just, it's perfect for him. And I cannot wait to put it on the Far From Home Mysterio and make it look uh, like it was perfection. And then up last we have Doc Ock, um, or Dr. Octopus. This one, I do not like these arms at all. I, I really don't. Um, the minifigure itself is good. I mean, it does, he does have an alternate face. He's kind of, you know, smiling on this one, and then he's a bit ticked off on the other one. Um, but he's got a diamond in this hand and a bag in this other hand. And then the set does come with a little extra gold bar and $100 bill pieces. Um, but there's a sticker here, 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 and here 
for the arms. The arms are all exactly the same. And then move like this and this. And then the arms, they close with these four little clamps here. Oh, sorry, it's out of frame. Uh, they close with these four little uh, clamps. They do have this weird green piece in there, which I like getting that in green for like lights in the middle. I just don't, I'm not really digging this Doc Ock for a minifigure. I don't like the arm technique. It, whenever Lego makes Doc Ock, it's the arms that draw your attention. So you got to have a good method for his arms, otherwise people aren't going to like it, uh, such as myself. I don't really like the arms on this Doc Ock, but the minifigure is cool. It reminds me of the version of him from the PS4 game. Overall, I think this set is pretty meh, uh, just because, you know, Spider-Man's never had a monster truck. Uh, we didn't get anything new on Spider-Man other than a hood piece. Um, the arms on Doc Ock are not the greatest. Uh, it is nice to get green power blast pieces from Mysterio, finally. Some actually properly accurate uh, Stark drones. Um... But, and then the non-inclusion of the dual molded legs on Spider-Man doesn't make any sense to me. This one, I wouldn't, it, it's not the greatest Spider-Man set out there. Um, and then here's the instruction book, because I went ahead and I recycled all my boxes from that other video you guys saw. Um, and then the back has the win, and then there is some advertisements for these sets, which I do have, and I have done reviews on. Um, and then I don't have the Ghost Rider car, just because I already have... When, when the Robbie Reyes minifigure and that version of Spider-Man got leaked out, I just went ahead and ordered some early, so I don't really need that set. But I do kind of want the car. The spider Lair, I have had many thoughts of getting, but just because of the fact of repetitive minifigures, just, it's got a new Green Goblin, but same old Spider-Man without the dual molded legs. Same old Venom, but it does come with a new Scarlet Spider suit and then the Stealth Big Time suit, and then the Iron Spider just... I don't see it as a necessary purchase, but I might get it. I, I don't know. Um, but we will see. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on this set? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, hit the subscribe button. Turn notification notification every time I post a video. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.